Welcome shoppers. Hello. Line up. How's it going? Great, thank you. Well, back at the ranch, your kitchen may be empty, but not for long. This week, it's all about being healthy on a budget. Most Americans need to shop for themselves and their families on a budget. Many of them believe that eating healthy is too expensive. And today, you're gonna prove them wrong. We're giving you each $10 a day. You're gonna buy a week's worth of food. It's up to you to make the right choices based on what you've learned about nutrition so far. And if you go over budget, whatever is left in your cart will have to be put back. Allison, come on, are you serious? Are you really, are you really doing this today? Not only will you have to budget your money, but like millions of people across America, you'll also have to budget your time. You will have just 15 minutes from the time I say go until you reach the register. So, shop wisely. $10 a day per person? I can't eat lunch on $10 a day. How am I gonna eat three meals a day on $10? I think it's absolutely 100% cheaper to be unhealthy in America. Nah, we don't wanna fool with any fruit tonight. We're gonna eat all the good stuff. All the unhealthy foods, they just don't cost near as much as the good food. All right, I'm gonna have you grab your shopping carts and we'll get started. Okay, teens, you are ready to go. You have your money. Blue team, you're gonna start out with $350. Red team, you have $280. And white team, Danny, you have $70 for the week. Good luck to all of you. You have 15 minutes to shop, starting right now. Hey guys, right here. Get some peppers. I usually shop per day. I don't shop for the week. How many cucumbers are we doing, Joe? Six. I get 12. Really? But we do have Lisa that's going to guide us through this. Knowing that Lisa feeds six, I'm sure she's going to help us feed four, and we're going to try and make this work. When I go to the grocery store, I usually spend over 100 So $70, this does not seem like a lot of money. I mean, that's less than $3.50 a meal, and that's not including a single snack. So I'm just thinking, is $70 going to be enough? Go to hit Loop dairy. Around. With the coffee aisle and then we'll move back to vegetables because they're the all last there right one. now. Yeah. I have no idea what my family spends on groceries a week because I don't grocery shop. <laughs> I'm a fast food junkie. It's so much easier and convenient to run to, you know, a fast food place and grab something for five dollars. So grocery shopping to me is a whole new experience. I'm gonna get Romas because they're 99 cents a pound instead of a dollar ninety-nine for the larger ones. Okay. I was really focused on where can we get the most for our dollar. How many pounds do you think we have? There's a scale There's a over scale. there. All right. My kids are aspiring to be athletes, and they're they're awesome at sports, and they want to eat like athletes. But I I don't know how to do that. We have breakfast dinner a lot. We call it Brinner. It's our favorite at night. We have the sausage and then the eggs and pancakes with syrup because it's quick and easy. Some of the, the, the go-to things, the filler things that I would buy, I'm definitely not going to buy today because it's definitely not on the plan. Seven, eight, nine. Lots of lean meats and lots of vegetables. She's got green apples, Joe. She got green apples, yep. Let's move. All right, guys, you have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes of shopping remain. I was definitely looking at nutritional value. And actually, when I'm looking at the Greek yogurt, originally, I always got one brand. And then I started to look around, and I actually found another brand had 20 less calories for the same amount. I needed to make sure that what I was putting in my body is what I've learned. What about, like, snacks and stuff, guys? Like, what do you guys normally pack for we're snacks? Gonna eat, we're going to eat the apples. OK. My biggest concerns are that we're going to overlook something. If we don't pick something up that we need, then we're gonna be out of luck for an entire week. Five minutes left. Biggest loser shoppers, you have five minutes left. Let's grab vegetables and then we're gonna have to get some more meat. What else, guys? Tomatoes, raspberries. I don't grocery shop at all. I don't like grocery stores, but this whole shopping experience has woken me up to the idea that you can do it within a budget. And we've learned what we need to eat and I'll set where to shop. You really don't need to come off the outside aisles very much. You really don't. Get a lot of oranges. Who eats oranges besides me? Me. I do. 30 seconds left. You have 30 seconds, guys. Get moving. When I'm getting ready to check out, I'm getting really nervous because on my budget sheet, it said $69.59. And I grabbed a few extra things just in case I had missed total. So I'm thinking, well, what if I totaled wrong the other way? If I can't get everything in my cart, I won't have enough. Looks like, uh... You got some good options here, red team. Budgeting is crazy important for staying healthy. I have no idea what our grocery budget is back home, but I think I need to take a more active role in planning what we're going to be eating and budgeting for that. Is this your turkey? Yep. Yeah. Come on, turkey. 
Sounds like budgeting to me. That was amazing. We didn't have to put any of the stuff back. We got everything that we wanted to get out of the store, and we are going to eat really well this week. All right, so Blue Team, talk me through uh, what you dealt with. How did it go? How did you work together? We tried to make sure that if there was anything that anyone ate on a daily basis, that uh, you know we made sure we accommodated them and uh, tried to get something that everyone enjoyed. Who was in charge of the math? That would be Mama Gina. And now Gina is staring at that total. <laughs> Gina's watching the number uh, on the checkout screen, and she's pretty, pretty worried that we're going to go over. But I'm looking at what's left in the cart, and uh, trust me, I'm 24. I'm fairly fresh out of college. I can look at the cart and pretty much eyeball when I'm not going to have enough money. So, you know, I'm not worried about it. Yes. 48. Good work, Blue Team. Good, Good job. Hallelujah. We made it. I went into this challenge thinking, you know what, eating healthy is pretty expensive. It's pretty hard. But actually, uh, I've changed my mind about that. Danny, $70. That stunk. <laughs> I bet. So how do you feel? You did. Are you nervous? Uh, Quality-wise, I feel I did really good. I tried to keep with all lean, organic proteins, organic vegetables. It's unfortunate that the junk foods, you know, the processed noodles and the stuff like that are a lot cheaper. And you know what? They are. But at the same time, you have to look at what you're putting in your body. And that's what I've learned here, is that what you're putting into your body pays out a lot more. And you know what? If you find those like places that have locally grown stuff, it's not that expensive. I was weighing everything to make sure every like every ounce counts on that scale, every ounce counts in food too. So 6131, you, you you did it. You're gonna have enough to eat, you're not gonna be hungry. No, I have lots of greens and lots of protein and that fills you. Well, good luck, Danny. I'm shocked with how much I bought for $61. I have food for the whole week plus snacks. That's less than $10 a day. And everything I got, I'm so excited, is all natural and organic. You are awesome. Thanks, Allison. Good luck. Bon appetit. Thank you. You're good. Good uh, job, Ed. Thank you for having thank us. Thank you, Allison. It was a pleasure <laughs> having you in it my store. It was fun. Thank, thank you. you.